What's going on everyone? I have been contemplating this for a long time now. I want to make it official on this channel to set this goal. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See this guy here? Oh yeah. I turned 29 years old earlier this year in February. My goal is to transform that belly that you just saw into a six pack by the time I reach 30. So I have 277 days until my birthday next year, which is about 39 and a half weeks. Maybe I can hit my goal sooner. If so, that would be amazing. Even if I could hit a six pack by the end of the year, that would be incredible. But I wanna share my progress with you. To be completely honest, I am very nervous about setting this goal and doing it publicly as well because I. I have been overweight for many, many years. There are a couple of real fears that I'm going to have to conquer. So I've had two main fears, you could say, throughout my weight loss journey throughout the years. The first is stretch marks, and that is the lesser of the two fears. I've actually become quite acquainted with my stretch marks. I have them in quite a few places, like on my arm here, and also on my sides, legs, places like that. But they actually haven't bothered me that much, and it's a sign to me that I have put in the work and effort to change my body and I still love myself regardless of the stretch marks. Now the second fear I have, which is actually bigger of the two fears, I'm going to tackle head on with this six pack by 30 challenge. And that is having additional loose skin around my body after burning so much fat off. I'm worried about that because once I actually have a six pack, will it be visible? That's my question. I'm worried that maybe I'll have additional loose skin there, but in reality, I don't think I should be giving myself that much pressure. I'm still relatively young and having loose skin isn't a bad thing. Just as my stretch marks, it should be viewed as a sign of victory. I'm fairly certain that I can get this six pack by the time I turn 30 or by the end of the year it'd be great but I really hope it can be visible after the extra fat loss so I've done quite a bit of research I want to follow some guidelines to help me reach my goal and I also want to share my progress with you in this YouTube channel along the way for starters in my channel I started in February this year I do a health challenge or a 30-day challenge each month so I definitely want to keep doing that each month in the past I've already completed a 30-day push-up challenge a walking 10,000 steps per day challenge and a no added sugar challenge if you're interested in learning more about those challenges I have videos going over each of those with my results and lessons learned that you can check out the next guideline I want to follow is getting my kitchen in order because abs are made in the kitchen right so basically I want to limit processed foods and junk food as much as possible next I feel like it's very important to record my progress to help keep me on track for the weeks to come this will look something like having a progress photo each week and also weighing myself at least once a week right now I'm about 205 pounds and honestly, I don't think weight is the most important indicator here for me. More importantly, I need to make sure that I'm eating clean and healthy foods. And talking about food, I probably won't count my calories as much, but I will be mindful of the foods that I'm putting into my body, focusing on whole and healthy foods, as well as liquids, having plenty of water and avoiding sugary drinks. In addition to that, I must optimize my environment, including the kitchen or the place that I'm eating most frequently. And just in general, I don't wanna have snacks and unhealthy foods laying around because I will feel more tempted, especially if I'm feeling tired or stressed. The next guideline I'm not too worried about, but I just wanna make sure my body is in active state throughout the day. I typically get in quite a few steps. I hang out a lot with my two kids, which can also be quite a workout, and I do hit up the gym once in a while. And with that, I also wanna do a variety of ab workouts each week. For this month, I'm actually doing a daily plank challenge for the month. I'm creating a time lapse of that 30 day challenge, so make sure to follow so you don't miss out on that. And the last guideline I wanna follow is prioritizing recovery, including getting enough rest and sleep after workouts and just in general. Okay, so those are some of my initial thoughts. I'm nervous, but actually after sharing all of that with you, I am quite excited. I will keep you posted with weekly updates. See you next video.